Hello, welcome to the lecture number 36 of my course quantum mechanics and molecular spectroscopy. Essentially until the lecture number 35, I have covered the uh, derivation of the transient moment integral, the relationship of the transient moment integral with various experimental quantities such as the lifetime, line widths and also the absorption spectrum and in turn related to Einstein's coefficients a and b. Later we looked at the transient moment integral and derived the selection rules for the rotations, vibrations and electronic transitions. Towards the end we also looked at the rotations of the polyatomic molecules. However, the vibrations and the electronic spectroscopy of polyatomic molecules will require a knowledge of group theory. Since I have assumed that you will not need any uh, other prerequisites other than basic quantum mechanics, the vibration spectroscopy and the electronic spectroscopy of the polyatomic molecules will be skipped. You can look at some other courses on molecular spectroscopy which include group theoretical treatment for the vibrations and electronic spectroscopy of polyatomic molecules. That in a sense completes the, the course contents. Now in the next few lectures, I would like to look at some of the tutorial problems. See spectroscopy simply does not mean transient moment integral. Okay. You can, it also looks at how one interprets the spectra to be able to arrive at some useful atomic and molecular parameters. So over the next few classes, I am going to teach you or we are going to solve some very simple problems as a tutorials. Okay. To begin with, I will start with a particle in a box. A particle in a box is nothing but something that you know you all might have learned is there is levels n is equal to 1, we will have a wave function like this, then there will be n is equal to 2, we will have wave function something like that and n is equal to 3 will have wave function something like that. And the wave function psi of n is given by root 2 by L, by the way this is 0 and this is L where capital L is the length of the box. Okay, one more thing is that in a particle in a box these walls extend to infinity because any particle that is trapped inside this particle in this well or in this box cannot get out. Sin n pi x by L okay, that is your wave function and the corresponding energy value will be En is equal to h square n square by 8 m L square. Okay. Now one thing that is let us look at this dimension as x. So the box is along the x axis. Okay. So if the box is along the x axis, so the dipole moment direction, the mu, this model, will be along x. Therefore, for a transitions for in the part in a box, okay, you can write TMI as equals to integral. Of course, particle in a box is limited from the uh, between 0 and L. So, the integral will be 0 to L. Okay. Now, let us say you go from n is equal to there is a n i that is the initial quantum number
and you go to n f that is the final quantum number. Okay. So, what you have is you have two wave functions square root of 2 by L sin n f pi x by L your dipole moment mu root 2 by L sin n i pi x pi L t x. So, this is your transient moment integral simply put if I have to write this will be nothing but psi n f mu psi n i. So, this is the integral that we need to solve. Okay. So, I am going to rearrange this integral slightly there is a square root of you know 2 by L square root of 2 by L. So, that can come out because 2 and L are constants for a given particle in a box. So, what you will get is 2 by L integral 0 to L this will be sin of n f pi x by L okay. or dipole moment is along the direction x it could be uh, it could have something some multiplier. So, if I if I take con mu is equal to some constant a into x okay. then this will be a into x sin n i pi x pi L dx. Now, a is also a constant so that also I can bring it out. So, this will be nothing but 2 a by L 0 to L sin n f pi x by L x sin n i pi x by L t x. So, essentially your transient moment integral will look something like that. Okay, which is what we need to solve to get the selection rules. So, let us look at them little more carefully. The transient moment integral will be now will be equal to 2 a by L integral 0 to L. Now, uh, because these are product function uh, what you had is the sign n f pi x by L x sin n i pi x pi l t x. So, this I can slightly rewrite as 2 a by l 0 to l x sin n f pi x by l sin n i pi x by l t x. Now, I am going to use a small transformation that is if you have sin a x multiplied by sin b x. Okay. This will be nothing but half of cos a minus b x minus cos a plus b x. Okay. So, I am going to use this uh, trigonometric transformation. So, this will be equal to this will be half. So, 2 a by l into half integral 0 to L x into cos of n f minus n i pi x pi L minus cos of n f plus n i pi x pi L. Okay. So, this I can write this 2 and this 2 I can cancel. So, what you will get is a by L 0 to L x okay. cos of now what I will call it as n f minus n i that is the difference between the quantum numbers of the initial state and final state. So, that I will call it as delta n. So, this will be delta n pi x pi l minus cos of. So, the other thing is n f plus n i. So, that is the sum of the quantum numbers of the initial and final state I will call it as a capital N. Okay. So, that will be nothing but capital N pi x 
by L T x. Okay. Now, we will see this will be nothing but A by L whole thing multiplied by 0 to L x cos delta n pi x by L minus 0 to L x cos capital N pi x by L T x x. Okay. Now, you can see this as a uh, these two integrals, they are x cos a x type. So, so integral x cos a x dx has to be integrated by part. So, this will come out to be 1 over a square cos a x plus x by a sin a x. So, we will this integral is given by this. So, we just have to plug it in. So, this will come out to be this is equal to a by l. Okay. Now, the first integral is 1 over a square, 1 over a square will be 1 over delta n pi by l whole square cos delta n pi x by l okay, evaluated from 0 to l plus 1 by 1 by delta n pi by l into x okay, uh, sin delta n pi x pi l evaluated from 0 to l. S similarly, the next integral will be negative of one over n pi by l whole square cos n pi x by 0 to L minus again minus of minus minus x pi n pi by L into sin n pi x by L evaluated from 0 to L. So, you need to get this 4 times 1, 2, 3, So, uh, now your tangent moment integral will be equal to A by L whole thing multiplied by the first term will be was uh, 1 over delta N pi by L whole square cos delta n pi by l evaluate from 0 to l. That was my first term. I am going to go one, one, uh, one term at a time. So, this will be equal to a by l integral. So, this will be l square divided by delta n square pi square cos of delta n pi by L. So, there is an x here x 0 to L. Okay. So, when I evaluate this, this will be nothing but 0 to L. Okay. Now, if I take L square by delta n square pi square as a common, then what I will get is cos 0 uh, cos L is when I plug it in L here, L will go. So, we will get cos delta n pi okay then cos 0 is 1 so this will is just minus 1 okay now the second term was plus x by delta n pi by l sin delta n pi 
x by l divided from 0 to l. Okay. So, this will be nothing but plus. Okay. Now, if I plug l value, then x will be l and this will go to. So, this will be l square by delta n pi okay, sin of sin of l. So, this will be sin of delta n pi delta n pi because uh, when you, when x is equal to l this will be delta sin delta n pi. Okay. When x is equal to 0 of course, this term will go to 0. So, there will be nothing left. Okay. This is your second term. Similarly, you have the other two terms. So, when I you can simply write this as l square by n square pi square cos n pi minus 1 minus l square by n pi sin capital N pi. So, this whole thing. So, this is the equation that we get. Okay. It is a bit complicated. You can see there is a l square everywhere. So, one can, but I do not have to really worry about l square and all. So, there is a formula. So, sorry, this is not 0, this is a. Now, you can see that there are two factors. One is delta n and that is not that is nothing but n f minus n i and other one is capital N that is nothing but n f plus n i. Now, I am there are if you take any two quantum numbers, because by the way in the case of particle in a box n can only take values of 1, 2, 3, etcetera. So, they are you know integers real I mean positive integers. So, n f minus n i would only be equal can either be odd or even. So, if n i so n f minus n i can be odd or even. Okay. Now, if n f minus n i is even, when that will happen? When both n i and n f are odd or but both n f and n i are even. So, that will give even. So, when if n f minus n i is even, it turns out that even n which is nothing but n f plus n i is also equal to even. Okay? So, if both of them if the difference between the n i or delta n, n f that is nothing but your delta n, if delta n is odd uh, sorry if a delta n is even then your n also is even. So, when you have even okay, then you can see that sin n pi delta n pi. Okay. So, that will be sin 2 pi, 4 pi etcetera will go to 0. So, sin delta n pi okay, will go to 0 if delta n is even. Similarly, sin n pi will also go to 0 if delta n is even. Similarly, you can see that cos delta n pi, okay, cos delta n pi or will go to 1 if delta n is even and cos capital N pi will also go to 1 when n is even. So, if this goes to 1, uh, 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, this is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is 0. So, for this will go to 0, 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 all the term will go to 0 when n f minus n i or delta n i is equal to e 1 and, uh, and capital N is e 1. So, your T m i will go to 0 if delta n is equal to e 1 and n is also e 1. 
So, you can go back and work out that T m i will not be equal to 0 if delta n is odd. Okay? If delta n is equal to odd, delta n is equal to odd implies delta n must be equal to plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 5, etc. So, for a particle in a box, particle in a box, box the change in the quantum number must be odd for the transition for the transition to be allowed. Okay? So, now which means if you have a particle in a box, so n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 5. So, this will be allowed, this will not be allowed, this will be allowed, this will not be allowed. So, every alternate okay, will not be allowed. So, every alternate. So, similarly this will be allowed, this will not be allowed, and this will be allowed. Similarly, this will be allowed and this will be allowed, this will not be allowed. Okay? So, I will stop here and we will continue in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you.